Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you for, very much for coming. Um, Tom Lewis with Sony Med LLC out of Boston, Massachusetts, and I'm here with my wife and business partner, Isabel, who runs the business aspects of Sony Med. And I'm here to tell you, uh, I'm very excited to hear to tell you about our story of a non-toxic cancer therapeutic that uses ultrasound and it's a chlorophyll-based uh, derivative material. This technology was derived from studies at Harvard, Harvard Medical School, and MIT. Um, and I have uh, no conflicts of interest to present with regard to this talk. Let's see if we can figure out how to move the slides forward. Let's see. Let's try the right button. So it's really a story of hope and promise for the future of the cancer treatment. And why do I say that? If folks have been looking at the most recent news from the World Health Organization, they say that cancer is about to surpass cardiovascular disease as the number one cause of death around the globe. So clearly, the existing therapies that we have available to us, slash burn and poison, aren't meeting the need for treatment and cures when it comes to cancer. So that we're all on the same page, I want to describe some what we'll be talking about today. We'll be looking at definitions, the history of sensitized cancer therapies. This is an area where I think there's going to be great development in the future for the treatment of cancer and other diseases. If we cleaned our slate and all our preconceived notions, what would a new cancer therapy look like? We'll talk about why we believe that's USAT, ultrasound activated therapy. We'll look at, at uh, USAT's advantages and benefits. We'll look at how USAT is even more effective when it's presented in combination with existing therapies. We'll go over some clinical data and lastly uh, wind up with some conclusions. So let's start with definitions. First of all, we all need to be on the exact same page when it comes to this definition. What is USAT? That's what we're talking about today. Well, USAT is a synergy of a small molecule drug, in this case a non-toxic small molecule drug, and some sort of energy source, in this case ultrasound, whereby when we apply the ultrasound, we turn a non-toxic species into something that's highly toxic towards our targeted tissue. USAT is also probably more commonly known as sonodynamic therapy or SDT. They can be used interchangeably. And the cousin to ultrasound-activated therapy, USAT, is photodynamic therapy. PDT actually has been around much longer than USAT, whereby in photodynamic, photodynamic therapy we use a light source to initiate a small molecule drug to become cytotoxic against a uh, target molecule, a target uh, indication. So looking at some further definitions, um, we'll look at uh, SF1, which is a term I'll be using a lot. It's a novel ultrasound activated sensitizer. It's derived from chlorophyll. Its secret sauce is that this molecule has been designed to specifically absorb to cancer cell membranes very, very specifically, and I'll give you some data on that later on. Um, when we activate this molecule with ultrasound, it becomes very cytotoxic in the very close uh, physical environment that it's at, which is on the cancer cell membranes. So SF1 is in a general class of drugs that we call sensitizers or agents. They're small molecule therapeutics that are designed to be activated at a specific time and place with an energy source, in this case ultrasound. One more definition, photodynamic diagnosis. In the case of the molecule that I'm referring to today, SF1, this molecule is it becomes cytotoxic to cancer with the application of ultrasound. When we apply red light, it fluoresces. And since it has targeting capability towards uh, cancer cells, 
and we shine red light on this molecule, it fluoresces and actually provides us a map of where the tumor tissue, where the cancer cells are. So in this way, it's a, a very powerful diagnostic modality as well. Let's go through the history of sensitized therapies. I'm saying that one of the key components of the future of cancer treatment will be sensitized therapies, yet this modality for treatment has been around for over 100 years. It was first introduced in around 19, in the early 1900s, 1904. It was through USAT's cousin, PDT, photodynamic therapy. It was used to treat skin cancer. It had a number of obstacles and shortcomings in that it wasn't very effective at treating skin cancer. It had some minor efficacy, and it was also highly toxic. It took 75 years to develop the next iteration of sensitized therapies with the development of a molecule called photofrin. Photofrin uses red light, and it's actually fairly effective at destroying uh, mammary tumor tissue in particular. That's what it's approved for. It does have significant side effects. However, not so significant compared to, say, chemotherapy that it was approved for use in 19 developed countries, including the United States.